Hello and welcome to Hadoop Exam Learning Resources. In this session, we are going to cover file based data structure map file. We have already covered the sequence file. So, in detail for full training, you can visit hadoopexam.com. So, let me first explain you the map file. What exactly is the map file? Okay, as its name is little confusing, this is not a file at all. This is a directory. So, what exactly this directory contains? This directory contains two files. One is index file, and second is a uh, the data file, which actually your data where it is stored. So, in this both file are the sequence file, as we have discussed. This is the sequence file. This is also sequence file. Okay. So th this is your data file and this is very small file which stores like some indexing information about this data file. So whenever something has to be searched from your data file, random access has to be done, first index file would be checked and then only from the one sec from that file will get let you know in which portion of the file you want need to look your data and some for some few iteration you can get exactly in which location your data exists so it, it stores the like byte of key and byte offset of the value so we'll see the actual data before moving uh, so let's see if i do have any data as an example not here not here not here not here yeah this is the data actually uh, this is the data yeah so this is your actual data this is key part one two three this is the key value it goes up to infinite and this is the value part which exactly store your value data so and this is the second is index file which is very small file which is like first key and it will say the one would be my value one and the byte offset of that end of the record and the after 120 the next my 129 record would be available on this byte offset my 257 record would be available on this byte so these are on the particular interval so we have 128 as an interval over here so it will become a each partition would have been up to like 128 record is stored this this is some kind of partition and it is to the byte offset of that particular next key value whenever where it present so whenever it is going to look for the some data suppose some key it has to be looked over it so let's say the example i wanted to search what is the value of 496 in my for key 496 so what exactly is this uh how to framework will do it actually goes over your index file first and look for the data key not data which is less than and equal to 496 and max value of this so it will get 1 129 257 385 and after that 513 so it will pick up this all values up to 385 and from 385 it will pick up this max value out of this 385 and from 385 onwards it it goes to the data file and directly goes to 385 record and it will i trade over it and go to the next record three it find it out like it is the next key would be the 386 so this is not a record which i am looking for so now it moves to the 387 it again see another key so until it keys get the or reach the 496 it will keep it reading and as soon as it get 496 as an output and uh, there is a data is available then it will return the value of 496 key if there is and while checking it reached 496 and after that it has reached like 497 or something and 496 does not exist then it will return say like 496 key does not exist and it will return the null value so at the max here you have seen like with the help of this index file only one disk 
sick is there on the index file and at max in the worst case scenario it has to eat it 128 records to get the actual value from the map file so this way this map file help us to like whenever in hadoop you know like there are very big files so with the help of index file and one actual data file you can get the actual value in just very less iteration which actually uh, save you a lot of time uh, while searching particular data from the your map file so this is map file is good for your random access whenever you are looking some data so whenever lookup has to be done so data should be stored into the map file before uh, getting the actual uh, output from the uh, map file so it will save you a lot of time so mm, what exactly remain is like uh, so like there is api available to read the map file and there is a reader which reads the data from the map file so if you wanted to see the whole code how to read and write in the map file and understanding in depth how to look up the data just visit hadoopexam.com in the training section you might find uh, or you you just get a paid subscription to understand the whole uh, hadoop components one by one under the training section thanks for listening this is all about the map file